Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ali Reza and I'm going to show you how to uh, make a complex file containing both ligand and receptor in a single file. Uh, I'm going to use the Autodog Vino results as the primary files. I have a receptor.pdbqt and a ligand.pdbqt. The ligand, as you may know, composed of uh, uh, nine mo different models, different uh, poses, and each, if you use the uh, Notepad or any other text editors like Notepad, Notepad++, Plus Plus, Vim, or other softwares, uh, you can see the files containing the PDBQT information of the ligand. Uh, it starts with the model one with the highest affinity to the receptor. In which in these files we have a uh, ligand with the first model with negative 9.2 uh, kilocalorie per mole affinity to the receptor. It, is, it uh, starts uh, with the root command and end at the uh, end model. So. I'm going to use only the first position and I'm going to remove the rest of the ligands. I'm going to press Ctrl, Shift and End and remove. Okay, uh, now I'm going to save this file and close it. Uh, the next software, the open source software, we need to convert and these both, these both files into the PDB file format is uh, open bobbed. Simply just drag ligand into the query and convert into the PDB. I choose the location into desktop and named it receptor. Okay. Now I'm going to save it. It uh, automatically put that PDB at the end of the name storage, and I press convert. Now uh, my receptor is saved in my desktop. Next, I'm going to drag the ligand into the query. Uh, what we have seen in the text editor is now observed in here. You can see that. Just named it my Ligand. There's no need to uh, browse the location and convert. I just uh, I just reset the name and press convert. Okay. Now we have both files into the, into a PDB files. I delete the PDBQT files and now uh, I'm going to use the UCSF Chimer software to open both files at once and save them into a single file that PDB containing both ligand and receptor. I'm going to browse into the C user C decks my desktop location and find my ligand. Okay, this is my ligand and next my Okay, receptor. Okay, where is the receptor? No, I'm going to open my receptor file and see what happens. Okay, now as you can see my, uh, my ligand and receptor are both loaded, loaded in the exact uh, coordination in my docking result uh, to uh, save the decision to a PDB file. Okay, and there are several options here in my data location. Okay, by uh, ticking this box, uh, I'm going to save the save my file into that PDB file, and the software automatically put that uh, that PDB at the end of my file name. Uh, 
models. We have two models, ligand and receptor, both selected and highlighted in blue. Uh, here we have a multiple models. We just do not need to save in multiple files. If we choose this option, the our files will save into different ligand and receptor files. By clicking a single file, they both will save into a single that a complex file. Okay, uh, make sure these both ligand and receptor are highlighted and you have uh, clicked a single file, then named it complex. That PDB will add at the when I press save button. Okay. Uh, what am I going to call? Okay, our complex file is rooted here. If I manually open this file with my Notepad++, I will see a UNL ligand file, and it followed by a model, second model, uh, which is my receptor file. Okay. Now I'm going to close this decision and open my complex file. And see what's happening. Okay, as you can see, the complex file contains both ligand and receptor, and now I can use it in different kind of process of drug discovery, like ligand, uh, like structure-based drug discovery, other uh, okay pharmacophore-based drug discovery. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please uh, press uh, push the like button and subscribe into my channel. Thank you so much.